whiter they become. I don't know if you guys have noticed this. Like, I did a little story yesterday with the guy that's running uh, um, the the uh, Jennifer Jennifer Williams, who's run who's running for an assembly seat as a Republican, and it was an older Caucasian um, woman. But when you look at the athletics side of it, it's always brothers. transgender woman who competed as a man as recently as last year won an NCAA track track national championship on Saturday. Franklin Pierce University senior CC tells her he, the eighth woman field in the Division II women's 400 meter hurdles by more than a second with a personal collegiate best time of 57.53. There it is. There's the, the numbers right there. CC and then uh, I'm sorry, Mina, Sydney, Haniki, Jordan, Kissy, Jessica, and Shannon, I, I, I feel terrible for you guys because each and every one of you deserve to at least be one step up. Telfer has also earned All-American First Team honors with a fifth place finish in 100 meter hurdles earlier in the day at Javelina Stadium at Texas A&M Kingsville. The New Hampshire school has claimed NCAA championships six previous times, but never in an individual sport. The school's previous titles have been in soccer, with the men's team winning the, 20, the 2007 title and the women's programs taking it in 94, 95, 96, 97, and 99. And this is the tweet from the school. I mean, <laughs> Oh my goodness, I don't mean to laugh, but this is ridiculous, man. It really is. And you're pushing out legitimate women. You're pushing out biological women, and that is so unfair. <laughs> in just a sixth year of existence, in just a seventh year of existence, the P F P U Ravens has its first national champion. Senior CC Telford took control of the 400 meter hurdles on Saturday p.m. and went on to post victory with a personal best time of 57.53. <sighs> According to a release by the school, Telfer took the lead heading down the back stretch and held it the rest of the way, pulling away from the field in the final turn and down the home stretch. It was tough conditions out here and with the wind and the heat over the last three days, but as she has over the last six months, Cece proved herself to be tough enough to handle it. Head coach Zach Emerson said of her performance, Today was a microcosm of her entire season. She was not going to let anything slow her down. I've never met anybody as strong as her mentally in my entire life. I already answered this question, and yeah, most people believe, are right along the sides with me. Do you believe that a person born as a male but identifying as a female should be allowed to compete in women's competitive sports events? No. 92%. No. As recently as January 2018, Telfer had been competing as an athlete for Franklin Pierce men's team as Craig. Telfer finished eighth in a field of nine in the men's 400 meters at the Middlebury Winter Classic in Vermont. There's a reason for that, because men naturally, biologically, have, adv have physical advantages. The NCAA allows male athletes to compete as women if they suppress their testosterone levels for a full calendar year. Before that, they compete on mixed teams with men and women in the men's division, but not in the women's. According to the NCAA's transgender handbook, according, there's a transgender handbook. According to medical experts on the issue, the assumption that a transgender woman competing on a woman's team would have a competitive advantage outside the range of performance and competitive advantage or disadvantage that already exist among female athletes is not supported by evidence. Oh my God! Do you? Oh my God! <laughs> hold on, hold on. It's not supported by evidence. You say it's not supported by her beating them by a full second. It, this isn't supported by evidence. It's not supported by biology. You know what? I always knew the NAACP, NAACP, well, NCAA, not much difference. They're both just complete explo exploitation profiteers. But the NCAA is so full of garbage, son. Like, honestly, this is ridiculous. This is just another governing body. <sighs> guys, guys, look, I would love to be like, hey, Miss Telfer, congratulations to you. But unfortunately, Miss Telfer, you're biologically a dude. All right, and this stuff, really, oh my. God. 
<laughs> this is why Donald Trump is going to win. This is why Europe, the the conservative um, conservatives won in Europe and all over the world uh, last week with their elections, because this because this is insanity. This is pure insanity. Yet, for some strange reason, you got people that are sitting here completely playing to other people's delusions of grandeur. And I kind of get it for the school because, hey, yeah, oh man, this, may, this this bumps us up. I get it for the coach because, oh man, I get to put this on my resume. I get it for, you know, people who have this terrible agenda that don't care about women really at all. But seriously, this this really hurts everyone you know i mean because all you're doing is telling those guys who can't compete with other men oh all you got to do is take testosterone for a for a full year and put on some braids and the next thing you know boom you're a champion amongst all these women who you have a clear physical advantage over i mean i wish i could i wish i was the i could pull up the video from this meet because i saw the video and i saw her standing next to these two Caucasian girls and the Caucasian girl, the one I think on the right looked defeated. Like, and it was before they lined up or she was like, yeah, this is, this is not going to end well for me because <laughs> she got this big black dude standing right next to her. That's about to smoke her directly out of her, out of the, out of the jump, out of, out off the track. My God, like, this is ridiculous. It really is. If you couldn't compete with the dudes, you should have gotten better. You should have trained harder. You don't sit there and make a shortcut for yourself. You know, and the fact that we have adults in athletics, in, in collegiate athletics, that are supporting this really goes to show why you probably shouldn't be sending your kids to school. Homeschool them if you can, because this is bonkers. Like the, 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 the ideas that they place into people's minds are just through the roof right now. And this, this has to stop. It has to stop. We are headed towards a place no one really wants to go. Everyone's thinking very internally. This per, like, like Cece, you are selfish as hell for even, con even coming up with this idea. Because you're just so happy to go and take from the women? Come on, man. That's ridiculous. This this is weak. Very weak. And this is also the end of the video. By all means, all the internet stuff. Like if you liked it. Sub if you enjoy my fantastic voice. Share because, oh my God, really, we're doing this. Um, and speak. Do you agree? I mean, do you disagree with this uh, poll right here? Do you think, oh, no, they should totally be allowed to compete against women? Like... <laughs> Like as some as a man who was raised by my father, right, to never hit a woman, to treat women with you know respect and courtesy and all these other things, I feel like this is completely antithetical to what to to what's actually to what actually helps society. You know, I mean, it's, I know it's completely antithetical to everything that I learned coming up, but as far as what uh, can actually move society forward in a um, better direction, this ain't it, champ. I mean, at the end of the episode of the Boondocks, the there was an episode of Boondocks called uh, "We Have a Black President." Huey Freeman, the German, and Huey was just completely irritated the entire episode, and so the German guy finally asked me, like, "Okay, so what do you think is happening?" And Huey goes, "The destruction of America," and you know what, Huey Freeman, you were right, sir. You were a hundred and thirty percent right. I just could not see it at the time, and now that I do see it, oh my. Goodness, where's my gun at? <laughs> Until the next one.